music hath charm, and our first guest today certainly lends support to that adage. A vocalist with few peers, she has been pleasing audiences in nightclubs, on records, etc., etc., for a long time now. A queen among songstresses, she is the inimitable Morgana King. Also joining us this day are two of the performers who are contributing to the successful run of Cats at the Schubert Theater. I refer to Kathleen Lamb and Lance Roberts. Lamb and Lance, they should make good shish kebab together. Take a backseat, Coca-Cola. These two have the paws that entertain. And now, serving as the catalyst for today's interview is your man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Morgana, tell me something, really. Yeah. You know, you're truly... Uh, an entertainer's performer, you know, you're a performer, a very special performer. I discovered you, you know, at the Bonsoir in the village years ago. What years? 1958. <laughs> 58, <laughs> really? Me, Kay Ballard, uh -huh. Tony and Eddie. Felicia Saunders? Felicia Saunders, uh, Larry Storch. Did Larry work there? Phyllis Diller. And Barbara Streisand. Streisand, oh yes. She, got it, she used to double from getting it wholesale. Uh -huh. Remember? Mm -hmm. Tell me about those days. Really? They were marvelous. You know, we were all kids aspiring to be uh, something uh -huh. in a business that's very attractive. You know? uh -huh. But cabaret, those... Today, the cabaret is not the same as the... Oh, 50s. no, it's entirely different. Why? I was just telling my daughter that if I had to do the things I did when I first started... I started in 1946. This is my 40th year. <laughs> and I'm still in cabarets. Uh -huh. But there's, uh, this morning I heard an interview and, uh, about Mr. Sinatra, and they said, well, you know, he is a saloon singer. Uh -huh. There's a certain quality that makes a saloon singer. Uh -huh. You know, you have to combat so much when you work the, I call them the pits, yes. <laughs> the upholstered sewers, whatever. But so I used to call them, too. But you know what I mean. It's, yeah. it's not really derogatory, no. but it's, it's our way of putting ourselves on. But, uh, you know, you, you work with such terrible conditions. You, you're in a room full of smoke. Mm -hmm. You're working hours that are kind of unnatural, doing, mm -hmm. you know, shows at like 9 and then midnight. Until two in the morning. Yeah. Sometime two in the morning. And then who sleeps during the day? I don't know anyone who really sleeps during the day. I mean, you, you hear all kinds of sounds and the uh -huh. light comes uh -huh. in, you know. So uh -huh. you're really in an exhausted situation. Mm -hmm. But I used to work in Lodi, New Jersey until 5 in the morning. I'd start at 9, take uh -huh. the bus at the Port Authority. Uh -huh. But when you're a kid, you do all those things, right? Mm -hmm. But that's show business. And yeah, I'm still doing it, but of course a little better. But a little that was show business in those yeah, days. Because yeah. uh, I started in those days, too, in the 40s, in the late 40s and the 50s, yeah. in Chicago, Illinois. And I worked strip joints. Uh, I, I did, too. I worked strip, strip joints on Clark Street. Yeah. And I emceed them until 4 in the morning. You know, Zarina? 8 o'clock to 4. Yes, very well. Well, the snake act. No, no, she did, she other, did. She did other things. Yeah. Other th they took the snakes away from her, Right, you know. right, right, right. But, uh, but uh, when I worked with Zarita, uh -huh. Uh, we became like a, a lifelong uh, friendship. Uh -huh. I still talk to her. She lives in Florida. Mm -hmm. And whenever she would work in New York, she'd say, call that kid, you know, the one with the little voice, the, uh -huh. the sweet whipped uh -huh. cream voice. Uh -huh. And they would always hire me to work her shows. Uh -huh. And I worked with Georgia Seven mm -hmm. and uh, Lily St. Cyr. Mm -hmm. I mean, these were prime strippers. Mm -hmm. Rose, um, Rose LaRose. Rose LaRose, yeah. But they respected the strippers those days. Oh, they were they wonderful. Were, they did an act. Those didn't women were gorgeous. Yeah, and they did an act. They didn't show everything. They just did an act. Yeah. They the, no, they, listen, they, you see more in a movie yeah, today exactly. than they show. Yeah. They didn't flash anything. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. teased. They were uh -huh. strip teasers. Teasers, that's what it was. It was a whole different set of mores <laughs> at that time. But I'm getting back, Morgana. You walk out there. You entertain them one and one. That's mm -hmm. your secret, though. You're, you know, you've been doing cabarets 40 years now. You're I'm a, a musical psychologist. You're in a special... You know I mean, I stroke everybody's head, you know. I'm Big uh -huh. Mama. Uh -huh. I sing a ballad, and everybody says, Oh, God, I felt so good after you said, uh -huh. you know, sang that lyric. Or uh -huh. I ended... A very dear friend of mine was going through an awful experience when her father passed on. Uh -huh. So I said, I don't know what to tell you, but I'll give you something to listen to. And I, I hope and pray that this helps you. And sh it was a, a copy of my album, Everything Must Change. Ah, oh, great. Well, I got a call back, and she said, thank you. You saved my sanity. Uh -huh. 
She says, I just listened to it. Mm -hmm. And it, it stroked her back to sanity. You know, uh -huh. everything changes, and the lyric, di you know, mm -hmm. dictated the message. And mm -hmm. I said, well, thank you. I, I feel that uh, if one person was reached, it was worth doing the album, you know. Uh -huh. But tell me something. You had a, a very tragic thing in your life. You know, you're a real survivor. You know, <laughs> no, but you're a survivor, Morgana. You yes, know, absolutely. You know, you're a real survivor. Absolutely. Would you, would you explain, I mean, what really happened? Uh, you know, you had a very tragic thing in your life. You mean with my husband? Yeah. If you, well, he was, he was my producer, my mentor, my manager, my everything. My whole life, my whole career was uh -huh. involved with my husband and my marriage. And uh, we had just produced my first major hit album, A Taste of Honey. So and uh, my salary had gone in one week from $125 a week to, uh, I made about 25000 <laughs> the following week. The following week. <laughs> I, I did uh, major TV shows uh -huh. uh, such as uh, The Hollywood Palace, uh, Andy Williams, Dean Martin. And I did a concert here at the Hollywood Bowl with the Smothers Brothers and a 21-piece orchestra. In one week, we you know we came from New York. I remember York. that. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, we were riding high. We were uh -huh. doing very well. Then I went in, did another album, and it was another major album. And uh -huh. he had an automobile accident in Central Park, and in Central Park, and died instantly. <laughs> and I. But you kept on working. Well, I kept on working, but it wasn't the same. It's it wasn't the same. Uh, attention that I needed as uh -huh. an artist. Now, he used to be he very select about every. He sent me to Brazil uh -huh. to woodshed, you know, to, yes. to rehearse Corcovado. Uh -huh. He said, I want you there. I want you to feel that vibration from those people. I was working. You know, he sent me on tour with Buddy Rich. Uh -huh. I was working, but I lived with those people, you see. Uh -huh. And I loved that language when I heard. He says, when you go to uh, Brazil, Mo, he says, you're going to love the experience. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was right. It but was you're magnificent. But you're Italian, aren't you? Sicilian. I'm Sicilian. Sicilian. Well, my mother and father were born in Sicily. Uh-huh. I was born in, in New York. I'm Italian, too. Half Italian. Are you really? Yeah, my father's Italian and my mother's Jewish. I'm uh, a lip wop. How <laughs> nice. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, we're all Jewish. Yeah. But I'm, I'm Sicilian. <laughs> I'm part Sicilian. Are you really? Yeah. Fr you're from New York originally? Oh, right there. Right in the heart of Manhattan. <laughs> I was born in Pleasantville, New York State, but I was raised in Sugar Hill. I see. Up, uh, uh, you know, Washington Heights. Uh -huh. uh, you know where that is. First, first job, Margana. Do you remember your first job out there? I sure do. The Greenwich Village Inn. That's it. With Sally Rand. Sally Rand. That was your first job. Uh huh. And Tony Bennett was there just prior to my performing with uh, Bob uh -huh. Hope, I believe. Mm -hmm. Joe Barry, he was mm -hmm. called at that time. Oh, I see. Yeah. The Village has produced a lot of great oh, singers. Incredible. And comics, too. Mildred Bailey was down there. Lady Day was at Cafe Society. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, wonderful. Had wonderful. a lot of comics and singers out of that yeah. village. The Village. Yeah. Morgana, you did a wonderful thing I loved. It was your wonderful motion picture with Marlon Brando. Yeah, Godfather. Godfather. Uh -huh. Tell me about that. It was just... You know, I was just talking to Troy Donahue today. Oh, Troy. Uh, we were on the film yes, together. Yes, tell me. I said, I was going to you. Oh. And he says, send Ruben Regana, oh. our special lady. Oh, uh, how dear. He was a lovely all. man. Lovely. Um, my my daughter's godfather played Salazzo in that movie, Al Latiri. Uh-huh. And Al Latiri and Al Ruddy knew that I was an actress. Uh -huh. And, of course, with Sicilian background... It, you know, it was they wanted me around. They uh -huh. said, you know, I'm very, very Sicilian in my whole manner of uh -huh. living. You know, uh -huh. I live uh, very traditionally, as they say. You're real Italian. You I'm think real that's Sicilian? Is that, is that you think Morgana? Yeah, real Sicilian. Morgana, what is that what you really, uh, you know, as a singer, you know, Morgana King, you know, a Sicilian. That's what they say. Well, is that is that is that too pronounced? Do you think you you think that's too pronounced? No, I'm very proud of it. You are. Oh, absolutely. Oh yes, uh -huh. I That's love the background. I love my heritage. I love because everything about your my family, mother and father. Yeah, your family uh, found a town in Italy, didn't they? I don't think. Uh, well, Catania is where they're from, and if you've ever been to Catania, been it's to as Catania. big as the boat. studio. Yes, <laughs> you know. I've been to Catania. I took yeah. a boat across. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so my mother and father were both from Catania. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, Sinatra is from there. 
His uh, father. Father. Yeah. Sinatra. His father's yeah. Catanese. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about Sinatra. We're probably kissing cousins. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about Frank Sinatra. You're very close with Frank. Well, I just went to Palm Springs uh, for his 70th birthday. Uh -huh. They honored him at the uh, Temple Isaiah. Uh -huh. And they had an enormous celebration uh, honoring uh, Mr. Sinatra. And uh -huh. uh, I was invited down. He called. Mm -hmm. His his um, his request was that I come down and sing. And mm -hmm. I was there. I was working at Vine Street here, but I said, "Yeah, you work here a lot." Send the limo; I'll be there. <laughs> I love him. I would, you yeah. know. I what was his birthday? How old is he? He was uh, seventy, December twelfth. Good God, yeah. him and December. Reagan. They're doing that. Today's Reagan's it's birthday, birthday today. and he's seventy. Yeah. Seventy-five. Seven. Today's seventy-five years old. He looks yeah. great. I interviewed um, Rosemary DeCamp. And she did oh, a movie I love with him. her. I love Last week her. I did her and Marsha Hunt. Oh, and, and I she, love Marsha Hunt. Yeah, they were wonderful. Yes. And, and uh, she is uh, 70, what was it, 72, David? She said she's six months older than Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? Oh, well, that's. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That wow. was a wonderful show, as a matter of fact. Marsha Marsha Hunt? Hunt. Uh, no, oh. Rosemary. Oh, Rosemary. Oh, yeah. she was wonderful. I love Is she still working? She, oh, yeah, she just She's did, uh, wonderful. She just did, uh, a, a, I think, Love Boat, was it? Or something like that? Oh, uh, uh, I just did Love American Style. You did? Yeah. That's. Uh, that's what it was, was so much fun. That's what I was going to Oh, ask. it was great fun. So you're really a busy lady. You're doing cabarets and... Well, I do... What I do is I try to do one job a month. Now, it sounds weird, you know, but I don't want to overtax myself at this age. I'm 56 now. I'll be 50... You're a Gemini, too. I'm a Gemini. I'm trying to find my June age. No, no, no. I don't <laughs> want to know your age. That's right. I'm catching what with what you. What day are we? I'm the 4th. I'm June 6th. Oh, with, oh, I love it. Yeah. My best friend Sal is June 6th. But I usually say I'm stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so. know something? I went to uh, Jack Benny's 80th birthday uh -huh. at Mr. Sinatra's house. Uh -huh. And I really was absolutely stunned and flabbergasted to see that this man looked 39. <laughs> he did not look 80. Did, did you think Jack Benny looked 80? No, no. I think it's all in your mind. Yeah, it is. That's like that's you. You look great. Oh, thank you. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 84. Oh, <laughs> uh, hi. tell me about Frank Sinatra. What kind of a guy is he, really? He's yeah. very dear. I think he's one of the sweetest guys. Uh, and he's in such a a, a very very ir a totally responsible position. Do you know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. He's got such a. I can't, I, I pressure all the time. I knew his think. mother didn't. Yeah, Dolly. She, yeah. she was a lovely lady. I met her once. She was a strong lady. Yeah, she I'd was. I'd love to play Dolly in that movie. Would you? The Franks, oh yeah, yeah. I'd you love to play wonderful. Dolly. You'd be wonderful. Oh, I'd yeah. love, she As was Frank's such a mother. strong woman. Uh -huh. Strong. When he lost her, that really hurt him, didn't it? He I really would imagine, you know, when you have that kind of a force, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's yeah. a big loss. I had the same kind of a mother. You did? My mother was very strong. And when my mother passed on, mm -hmm. my whole family just split and disintegrated. We, I have a brother who's somewhere in South America right uh -huh. now. He's still uh -huh. looking for himself. <laughs> I mean, everybody just fell apart. You know, uh -huh. every Sunday we'd have dinner with her. Uh -huh. You know, it was that kind of, she was a total matriarch. Uh -huh. But that's such a wonderful thing, you know. Did you cook? Oh, you You bet. cook Italian food? Oh. The pasta and the sauce. I cook kind of so good, it's disgusting. Really? Uh, yeah, because you can't put the fork down. <laughs> <laughs> you make it. Look at me. Animal. Do I look like I, I love that Sicilian <laughs> sauce? My mother used to yeah. make. That. Well, everything uh, my made in Sicily is so pure and natural. Yeah. I stayed with an aunt in Sicily when my husband passed away. I really went uh -huh. on a total bummer, uh -huh. and I went to Sicily because I wanted to feel the family and mm -hmm. you know my roots. And I stayed with an aunt who was 89. 80. Huh? Sia Francesca. See, <laughs> see. Si, si. 89 years old. And her house was meticulously clean. I mean, mm -hmm. you could eat off the floor. The sheets were blue white. <laughs> I mean, they were iridescent. Uh huh. And I'd say to her, How do you do this? No maid. I mean, there was no maid, you know. Mm -hmm. She'd say, Oh, that's what makes me stay young. So in the morning, she'd come and she'd say, what do you want for breakfast? I'd say, anything to you. She'd come in the backyard, pick your breakfast. Mm -hmm. I'd say, pick my breakfast? Yeah, come. There would be the chicken eggs. Uh -huh. There'd be the figs, the persimmons. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that she would prepare were the biscotti. Si, si, si. But it was so charming. And besides that, there was Mount Etna. Uh -huh. 
stare right, right down, down the throat. That's Catania, see. And she said, listen, when you live with this all your life, uh -huh. everything else is a lot of nonsense. See, see. You know, Lana Turner used to go there a lot. Oh, did she? Yeah, that was her secret place. Sicily? Sicily. Oh. You didn't know that. She had a lovely place right outside of Palermo called Ischia. Oh, Ischia. It's gorgeous. Uh, it beats it. Uh, no, 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 Ishka. Oh, Ishka, yeah. 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 It was a lovely, lovely place. Anyway, tell me something. I want to know Morgana King. You're going to New York City. Yes. You're opening where? I'm opening at Fat Tuesdays. Uh huh. Yeah. Where's that, Jeremy? That's on uh, 17th and 3rd down at Irving Place. Uh huh. It's a great, great little club. Is it's it been there for a long time. Uh huh. People like Stan Getz and Zoot Sims and, mm -hmm. you know, all the names go down. Dizzy Gillespie. Uh huh. And uh, I've been working there for a long time. And you're there for how many weeks? A couple weeks? Is Just, no, no, five yeah. nights. Five nights, I five see. Five nights. Uh -huh. And then I do an album the following week. Tell me about your albums. They're very rare. You know. Well, most you of know. The, um, the albums that I did in the uh, early uh, 50s and uh -huh. 60s are gone. They're collector's, They're collector's items. items. Yes, they're very, very rare. Yeah. And uh, so I'm doing albums now with Muse, Muse Records, uh -huh. and hoping, you know, that people still get a chance. We're going to tell me about to hear the young <laughs> kids out there today. Yeah. You know, what's happening with our music world? Is it, uh, you know, you're a cabaret performer. You're very different. You're special. Oh. Are there any special young people out there like you, you see? Oh, I love Mike McDonald. Oh, uh -huh. God, yes, I love him. Yes, he Michael McDonald, yes. Oh, I love him. Uh, I've always loved Joni Mitchell. She's, you know, one of my uh -huh. favorites. Um, mm -hmm. uh, some of the younger, uh, I can't think offhand. Um, What's happened to our cabarets? Really <laughs> What's happening to our cabarets? I mean, uh, well, they're, they're not the, the same. They're not the woodshedding rooms that they were years ago. You know, you had to work so Two, many three shows a night. Yeah, some places. Oh, three six shows. I did six. Some places, yeah. But we did I six did, a yeah, night. I did too. But I'm saying three shows a night was general. Well, the kids are now working general. TV. They they do TV first. Uh huh. They want to be stars. Theater. They all want to be stars. Everybody wants to be a star. I know. <laughs> but the thing is, the wonderful part of the struggle of working clubs is you start to get when you work to that live audience every night. Yeah. Uh -huh. You start to find different material. You don't. You you do ballads. You do up tempos. You do shuffle. You do uh, rock and roll. Right. You do blues. I mm -hmm. mean, you have to. When you start really creating a following, yes, you have to appease all their needs. That's a lot of music to uh -huh. cover. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to really start teaching eventually. You are? Yeah. Oh you yeah. know, I'm going to introduce you to two very talented young people. Uh -huh. They're in a show right now here at the Schubert Theater. It's in the second year. De did you see Cats? I'm going to. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a wonderful show. I, I did see it on Broadway. It I saw it with Betty Buckley on Broadway oh, at the Winter Garden nice. when it opened. Oh, yes. And I thought it was a great show. It well, is I lost show. my piano player to Cats. He went into Cats and he's been there for five years. Really? Really? In New York? He's sitting in the pits, Benny Adam. <laughs> okay, well, let's meet these two wonderful <laughs> young talent, Kathleen Lamb and Lance Roberts. Yes. Two wonderful dancers. How are you, Lance? Hi. Nice you? meeting you. Hi. This is Morgana. Hello. Hi, Pleasure. How are you? Let me help you with this. Okay. How have you been? Thank you for okay? coming. Let's Thank you. My Thank God. You You're one of the dancers. Which one are you? I play Victoria, who is the white cat. The white cat. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And the show's been in. This is the second year now? We opened last January, January 11th. Uh huh. Exactly. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from New York City. You are? Yes, oh, I was getting nice. excited. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're all from New York. Yeah. Yeah. And you're from yeah. where? Arizona? I'm from New Mexico. New Mexico. Oh, it's oh. gorgeous. It is it's gorgeous, yes. It's a nice place. For gorgeous. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about <laughs> cats <laughs> here in Los Angeles. I want to know what's happening at the Schubert Theater. What's happening? I mean, two years you've been there almost. That's right. I mean, tell us about that. We're having What's a great time. Well, um, what are you? What what cat are you playing with? Well, I stand by for Old Deuteronomy. So ah. you see a couple of dancers. Yeah. Uh, you'll see Deuteron Deuteronomy. He only waves his arms. <laughs> 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 That's the most I get to uh -huh. dance. You know, oh, I, I do a little in the opening, but not much. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, he's the uh, talking about your matriarchs. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> he's yeah. the the king of the cats of the uh -huh. Jellicle tribe. Tell us a story about cats. What is a story about cats? Good. When, when uh, what? <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it's basically... A book. Uh, it's a book. Uh, yeah. It's based on Old Possum's book of Practical Cats. Right. Yes, Elliot. And it's just a bunch of poems that were put together, and the storyline is kind of weaved through that. It's uh -huh. These cats meet once a year, and they have their jellical ball and this big celebration and everything, at which time Old Deuteronomy picks one of the older cats 
to uh -huh. go to the heavy side layer uh -huh. and come back in another one of the nine lives that I you guys see, have. I see. I see. That's a that's fun good. show. You're having a good time there. Huh? It is. It's a hard show, but oh, it's yeah. it's mm -hmm. it's lots of work. Is this yeah, your first uh, uh, the, uh, show? This is my first major 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 production like this. Yeah. How about you, Lance? Me? Yes. Tell us. Someone counted. I think it's like 25. <laughs> you've <laughs> done what <laughs> things have you done? Could you tell well, us? Well, here in Los Angeles, um, I did Get Happy with Donna McKechnie and um, mm -hmm. oh, she's she's Pamela Myers uh -huh. from Company. Yes. So and we did the music of Harold Arlen. So uh -huh. I mean, Stormy Weather, Can't Have Love in That Man. Uh, uh -huh. stuff. Uh, I don't know. Not can't. We had Donna McC uh, McCutney here a couple weeks ago, didn't we? Really? Yeah. Yeah, she was here. Because she was out doing chorus line, and she opened up the synagogue. So that's when we had her Hollywood yeah. Roosevelt right. here in town. Did you yeah. see her? Yes, I did. She's of wonderful. course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that was good. Stan Freeman, the jazz pianist. Uh -huh. that, I uh -huh. mean, he he was in the show as well, and I did. They're playing our song here with Joanne Worley, and uh -huh. uh, I came here to do a pre-Broadway show that didn't make it uh -huh. called Walls. It was about six people in it. therapy. Uh huh. Okay. Well, <laughs> it was a, it was a musical. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yes. <laughs> it didn't go very far. Uh huh. You know, and so I've been here for three years. You know, enjoying LA's revitalized theater scene. I mean. See what it is happening. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's don't you think yeah. so? It's very what surprising. You know, someone We're says, going "Are you going to stay in New York?" I mean, stay in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Have to be in New York working on theater, and I said. Uh -huh. Why leave? There's tons of theater here. Yeah, it's true. You know, it uh -huh. works a little different, you know, true. with the equity waiver scene, you know, working yes. up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I was know. offered something the other night with mm -hmm. that equity waiver. You do theater? Uh, uh, oh, I love theater. You do? Oh, <gasps> God, it's great. It's Isn't great. it wonderful? Yeah. yeah. Do you sing? Do you sing? Uh -huh. Do you both sing and dance? Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. Sing, yes. You both sing mm -hmm. and dance. Mm -hmm. I see. And you mm -hmm. studied in, in New Mexico, did you? In New Mexico, and I went to um, the North Carolina School of the Arts. I went out there to school, and then I went to school in Utah also uh -huh. and studied there. And then just kind of performed here and see, there. See what's happening. The kids study today. We didn't study. We went out there and worked in cabaret. Yeah, we yeah, we experienced yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you kids prepare yourselves for mm -hmm. the theater. Yeah. That's, that's, a good, that's a good thing, too. Isn't you need it? both. You need both. Yeah, yeah. you need both, yeah. Do you feel the, uh, the smaller theater is a good experience like the cabarets are days? That's great. I think working is the most important Regardless thing in the barn. Just keep working. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, I, there's no end to wanting to make it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. you, like I've worked with Brando and I've worked with Mr. Sinatra yeah. and I've worked with some marvelous people. Uh -huh. And there's no end to the next job and the next. You yeah. know, it, nothing is the ultimate. Right. They are the ultimate. Performers, true, true. But there's another thing that's yeah. better coming. You know it's what I'm always saying? Always coming. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. always something yeah. else. Like Lance, Ro Lance Roberts, tell me something. You, you're a good look. <laughs> are, you, are you into <laughs> acting for television? Oh yes, yes, yes. You have an agent who's doing that for you. Uh, oh yes, yes, I have all the agents uh -huh. and all that. You know, you're right. a good type. You should be doing a lot of commercials From and film. mouth to God's ear. <laughs> 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 you both. You both. Uh, are you both keeping busy at the theater? And how many shows a day do you? Uh, we have one show a day, Tuesday through Friday, then we have two on Saturday and two on Sunday. Mm -hmm. How many hours does it take to get all that makeup on? It at first took a lot longer, but now I've gotten mine down to, to science. <laughs> to get the makeup and the wig and the costume and everything about 45 minutes. 45? Oh, great. great. That's wonderful. Yeah. You too, huh? Well, it takes long. See, I'm the standby. He <laughs> doesn't right. do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it all the time, but. Uh -huh. Uh, in the last month, I've been on uh, every night. But before that, it one what what did it have? I think it was Christmas or New Year. It's one of the holidays. I was getting dressed to go out, and I had to go on on the second act. Uh -huh. So I've gotten my wig, <laughs> uh -huh. my makeup, and my costume on uh -huh. in the matter of an intermission. Uh -huh. So right. I can now do it in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it opened in 1982 in New York. In New York, yes, yeah. on in the Winter Garden. Did you mm -hmm. see it? Did you see it in New York? Oh yes, uh, yes, yes. And it won the Tony too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of seven. awards. So seven. Very, very, very seven. Seven. seven? Mm -hmm. What are the, some of the awards? Well, I know the one best musical. Best course. musical for the, uh, yeah. I think for your record, uh, for the yeah. recording, isn't it? One of the well, well, they, won, they won, they won, they won, I think they won the Grammy as well. Grammys. But, but these they are just the Tonys. Yeah. The best musical, uh -huh. best direction. I think Betty Buckley won an acting award. She did, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the, the lighting and the like set. I mean, the, the set does everything. 
This That's is the, the Star thing. Wars musical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything. Oh, I mean, we have things lifting off and... Yeah, they had to redo the theater at the Winter Gardens. Oh, Did they, they not the see in it? Los Angeles? Did they redo they the Shubert? The Shubert. The Shubert. Yeah, they got People it. don't recognize the Shubert when they walk in there. I haven't That's seen the... Great. I haven't People seen don't recognize. Really? They, they redid... Don't, you walk in there, all of a sudden, the 1,800-seat Schubert looks uh, like a nice, small, intimate theater, uh -huh. and you're brought into this world of cats. Immediately, uh -huh. people, you know, they think, oh, I don't want to go sit. I don't want to uh -huh. sit unless I'm in the front row now. And they're there, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 because it's so much. Uh -huh. it's How many so much. cats are there? In the there's 22 on stage, uh -huh. and then there's four in the booth, four singers who sing on right. stage with uh -huh. us. And then I think there's nine or ten understudies yeah. that uh -huh. sit. And so I've had my understudies had to go on over the course of like if I, I see. I've heard I've had lots of injuries with the show and uh -huh. so oh. three or four times I've had an understudy that had to jump into the white costume Ooh, and yeah. get on stage mm -hmm. like oh, really that's just that's it's another. hard we could, yeah, because of the, the, the rake stage uh -huh. I mean these the dancers are jumping and they're turning uh -huh. I mean with the on the rake stage try walking on a rake <laughs> stage uh -huh. the audience gets to come up during uh -huh. intermission uh -huh. and uh, as Deuteronomy I sit on stage yes. and they come up there and, and I hear a lot of the comments uh -huh. you know they say oh my god I, I can't walk and it's like uh, <laughs> I sort of like snicker or imagine these dancers uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> you know yeah. but uh, so the dancers have a lot of injuries just because oh. of just oh, dealing with the rake stage crying and she said she says oh, thank you so much Deuteronomy for letting me be part of the magic <laughs> you know and it's like yeah. I was really touched you know because yeah. I thought Jesus if uh -huh. there are probably people out there yeah. you know really yeah. being touched by this uh -huh. show it's special. Tell me something have you ever done a cabaret act? I've done um, promotional type things and I've uh -huh. sung I've sung in a couple of nightclubs you and have? things just like not cases and stuff yeah, like not that? Uh -huh. said she says What, what did it have? I think it was Christmas or New Year's, one of the holidays. I was getting dressed to go out, and I had to go on on the second act. Uh -huh. So I've gotten my wig, <laughs> uh -huh. my makeup, and my costume on uh -huh. in the matter of an intermission. Uh -huh. So right. I can now do it in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it opened in 1982 right. in New York. In New York, yeah. Yes, on in the Winter Garden. Did you, mm -hmm. see, it? Did you see it in New York? Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. And it won the Tony, too, mm -hmm. didn't it? Sure. Yeah. A lot of seven, awards. Seven, seven, awards. Seven, seven. Seven. seven? What are the, some of the awards? Uh, well, the one best the musical. Best course. musical for the, uh, yeah. I think, for your record, uh, for the yeah. recording, isn't it? One of the well, well, they won, they won, they won, I think they won the Grammy as well. Grammy. But these they are just the tones. Yeah. The best musical, uh -huh. best direction. I think Betty Buckley won an acting award. She did, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, the, the lighting and the like set. I mean, the, the set does everything. This That's is the, the Star thing. Wars musical. No. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we have things lifting off and... Yeah, they had to redo the theater at the Winter Garden. Oh, did they, they not the see it in things? Los Angeles? Did they redo they the Schubert? The Schubert. Yeah, they got People it. People don't recognize the Schubert when they walk in there. I haven't That's seen the... Great. I haven't People don't seen recognize it. Really? They they don't, you walk in there, all of a sudden, the 1,800-seat Schubert uh -huh. looks like a nice, small, intimate theater, uh -huh. and you're brought into this world of cats immediately. People... Then you know they think, oh, I don't want to go sit. I don't want to uh -huh. sit unless I'm in the front row now. And they're there. They're like, oh my god. <laughs>